Yo Bruce and Baby Stays. Today is the day when you're gonna learn about some stray kids related stuff, standing stray kids is one of the most hardest things ever, because they have a hella thick discography and they never stop making new music like for one month too, they can't just stay chillin'. You gotta keep up with a lot of stuff because stray kids have some things in their discography comebacks that no other K-pop group does. So today we'll learn about some important factors including. SKZ record, SKZ player. Unveil tracks and other comeback factors. A little idea of the SKZ lore, fact that no single stay, including me, knows what's going on in the lore but we just make our own theories and I'll try to explain how much I know. LESSGO. 1. SKZ records, SKZ players. SKZ records straight up came in existence just because 3 RACHA, stray kids produce write so many songs that they can't release all of them or else they will need to come back every month with a long ass album. So not to put the songs in waste, that they wrote just for fun, on a vacation or about a certain drama they watched, they release those songs only on YouTube as, SKZ record. These songs mostly don't have music videos, the ones that have music videos are called, SKZ player. SKZ records are not always newly made songs but also covers they do on other artists' songs. They mostly cover day 6 songs a lot in it, they are a big fan of them. The only sad thing is SKZ records are released in YouTube but apparently they are unreleased songs because they are not on Spotify and other streaming platforms. In 2022, Stray Kids released a whole album including most of the SKZ records they made since their debut 2018-2022. So SKZ records made before 2022 are now available on all streaming platforms plus they also added some new songs in it. Mark an important thing that Stray Kids is a group that likes to gift Stay's music. Whenever it's Stay's anniversary, mostly they release a song, like a mixtape or an SKZ record. Or they release a special video or music video for their already released song. And this leads us to say that, music is the best gift you can give someone. Stray Kids gifts are the best. I hope you understood what SKZ records are, if not then feel free to whack your brain thoughts into the comment section smiley face. 2. The comebacks. This is the most traumatizing, scary, exciting, thrilling, fatal thing for stays. It's comebacks. I have stand a lot of groups but I have to say, Stray Kids comebacks have a different definition. Their comebacks are 143 times more thrilling than any other group's comebacks because they are not normal. The whole process of 30 days after the comeback date is announced, the 30 days are traumatizing AF. Cause we get a lot of stuff in that meanwhile. Let's see how comeback works. Remember all important SKZ stuff happens at 0 a.m. KST. Always keep your eyes open and kindly convert this time into your country's time once and for all. First of all, out of nowhere, at 0 a.m. KST, on a random day. JYP Entertainment, channel uploads a video. That video is an album trailer, the most scary thing in the whole comeback process. If you think I'm speaking nonsense then kindly watch the NOEASY, Ordinary, 5 Star and Rockstar album trailers on YouTube. You'll get why they are scary. They are even thriller than movie trailers. The budget in a single one minute trailer is insane. Like a horror movie. Then you watch that trailer, you freak out and throw things here and there. Then you note down the date and time at the end of the trailer which is the comeback time. Then, after one to three days they upload a photo of the schedule during this comeback. This photo includes dates in. Between from the time you were into the time comeback is. The dates usually include one to two days gaps and they run until the date of the comeback. The scheduler won't specify what is to come on the dates so just wait for the dates and remember the time is 0 a.m. KST. Now most of these dates have the release of, Unveil Tracks. Unveil Tracks are basically teasers or spoilers for the B-sides tracks in the album. They upload Unveil Tracks one by one, they unveil most tracks except the title track. Unveil Tracks are kinda different than teasers cause sometimes they spoil more than a minute or the whole chorus of a song, while sometimes just the music video and instrumental. The main role of unveiling tracks is to make you go wild because now you have heard one minute of most tracks from the album, you can't wait to listen to full versions and congratulations now you have insomnia like Chris Haha. Ha. In between unveil tracks there will be dated that also release concept photos. Now you must think they are just photos what's so special. Well stays are very very delulu, so photos also freak us out plus SKZ concept photos are getting hotter, wilder as time passes by. I recommend Tweeter, or the fancy name X, to see download the photos in high resolution nail polish light skin tone sparkles. This saga of unveiling tracks and concept photos goes on for like 20 days, and boom comeback is very near. Then you get some weird stuff which no one knows, every time it's different to be honest. 
But one thing you always get is the album intro like two days before the comeback. It's a pretty long video where members just sit in their studio and talk about the album and three Racha tell us when they wrote the songs, what are the songs about, and a little recording behind the scenes as well. And like in the few days before the comeback we get a mashup. This mashup consists of songs from the album, they mix the songs very amazingly so we can't hear a lot of each song. They also change the pitch to match the mashup flow. Also there are usually two MV teasers. But I don't know why Lalalala has one. It was yet the most weird scary and unique comeback ever. We even got a damn short film that sent Stay Bill into depression open mouth smile. Okay so I talked a lot and I'm sorry about that, let's move on to another topic now. Here comes the queen crown. The lore. Only a few words to say, SKZ lore is confusing. No one knows what's going on. Apparently what we know is only that in every lore related music video, Hyunjin and Lee no act suspicious, ACC to me they are enemies cause in, on track, music video they both fell for the same girl and rest is history. What I understood from SKZ flicks was that Hyunjin is not how y'all see him. He is actually the main character of SKZ flicks and to be said the second main character of the whole lore. I realized this when I watched SKZ flicks and on track music video back to back and saw why Hyunjin was acting suspicious. It was because he was getting For example the scene where Hyunjin makes his entry, he's looking at Lee No like that cause he knows him. He's probably the one who didn't forget Lee No. Other members forgot about him just like at the end they forgot about Felix. And also when they played basketball and Lee No was unable to goal, Hyunjin was again acting weird cause it gave him the almost all Lord music videos is they play basketball every single time, first time it was in track where Hyunjin was a helpless lover and Lee No was a winning lover, Hyunjin was bad at basketball but as of now Lee No is. And in the Be Me Unveil track video there is one tiny scene of Lee No and Hyunjin together goddamn this made me go like thank god enemies are not enemies anymore cause in the beginning of the Unveil track they form a dramatic enemy scene, of course they were enemies cause of the on track love drama and Hyunjin not getting his love etc. Another scene where Hyunjin felt was when he was shooting them in SKZ flicks, he felt kinda emotional or nostalgic cause back then in on track music video he did the same. The most suspicious thing in SKZ flicks, no it's not the WHO is Yongbok part. I mean I did go in depression after that who is Yongbok crisis but after a while I noticed something even serious in it which was the intro of SKZ flicks, if you hear clearly. <laughs> Honestly what I heard was Bongchan and someone else and a female arguing like a husband wife but of course it's not the case it's probably related to the scene we didn't see. Probably what happened after Lee No died in Be Me Unveil video. Those sounds really made me think what can that be? Is that SKZ members panicking cause Lee No died or is it Hyunjin and Lee No arguing over that on track girly again? Rest is history. I hope we get another sequel or at least a music video related to their lore this year so that we can come to more conclusions cause it's getting even interesting and depressing. Slay. Another thing we know is that Felix has that suspicious birthday cake and whenever he blows the candle he transports to another parallel universe. I'll stop here. To make your own decision about the Lord watch the music videos in this order. If this order is incorrect, please correct me, I might be tripping. Now the main topics are cleared, I have a few more things to tell you if you're a baby stay. You probably know about the three subunits of SKZ, vocal, dance and music makers. The music maker, rapper, amazing Racha, the three Racha is themselves a hip-hop team. They have been making music since a pretty long time, ACC to me, 2016. But they debuted in 2017. Note that they are not a group. They just wanted to face fun so they released three mixtape albums with amazing rap songs, none of them are copyrighted and released yet. They even performed their songs but still they are just released on SoundCloud because they were just small independent artists. How cool right? The songs are also on YouTube on their official YouTube channel. You can also find older vids of them performing these songs. I told you this because there might be people who don't know these songs cause they aren't released, but please do listen to these songs. They are amazing. Some of these are emotional AF. TW, that song called, 42 Feet has very sensitive lyrics. It's about ending your life so be ready when you listen to it. Can y'all imagine 17, 18, 20 year olds writing songs about ending their life loudly crying, they were depressed as fuck especially Chris. He was all alone. Other three Racha songs I would recommend are Startline, my favorite cause of Chris's English speech in I'd like to start off this speech with a thank you to everyone that helped little Chris to cr TikTok, NXT to you, Hoodie Season, the three Racha version, not the OT8 version, and so on. I think that's all I think I've successfully broken my fingers after typing this hey. Make sure to follow each member on Instagram and don't forget to follow our Queen Hannah Bong, her EP is out now. If y'all have any doubts or you want me to make a video about another topic like these, be my hacking guest Bruce laughing face. Share this video to y'all's fellow baby stay friends who might find it helpful. 
Bye. I domino. Hey, domino. Tukchime mono jo hunde de pe. Thank you.